Again with breaking news, another woman has come forward making allegations of sexual misconduct against Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. The woman is the third to make accusations against the nominee. Her attorney Michael Avenatti just released a photograph of her and a sworn statement. Avenatti demanding an FBI investigation into the Supreme Court nominee. This is a woman making these new accusations. Her name is Julie Swetnick and she works within the federal government. In a three-page sworn declaration, Swetnick details what she called physically aggressive behavior toward girls by Brett Kavanaugh at house parties in the early 1980s. As part of that statement, Swetnick says, quote, in approximately 1982, I became the victim of one of these gang or train rapes where Mark Judge and Brett Kavanaugh were present. Shortly after the incident, I shared what had transpired with at least two other people, end quote. Swetnick says the witnesses she mentioned can attest to her statements. And now CBS News reports lawyers for the Senate Judiciary Committee are reviewing Swetnick's sworn statement. Her allegation comes just 24 hours before Judge Kavanaugh and his original accuser are set to testify before a Senate committee. CBS 4's Nicole Killian has more on that from Washington, D.C. Senate Republicans are looking for a little help at tomorrow's hearing with Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh and the woman accusing him of sexual misconduct from decades ago. What we're talking about doing on our, our side is to hire someone who has experience in ferreting out information in cases of allegations of sexual assault. The 11 men on the Judiciary Committee will yield all questions to Arizona prosecutor Rachel Mitchell. Democrats slam the GOP decision and say Dr. Christine Blasey Ford is not on trial. I think it's passive aggressive. I think it's passive aggressive. Democrats have also called on the FBI to look into the allegations of sexual misconduct before they move forward with Judge Kavanaugh's confirmation, but it's looking like that won't happen. Senator Chuck Grassley has scheduled a vote for Friday morning in the Senate Judiciary Committee to pass Kavanaugh's confirmation to the full Senate. The move can't come fast enough for President Trump. I think I might have pushed it forward a lot faster. But Senator Dianne Feinstein, the ranking Democrat on the committee, disagrees. She issued a statement saying for Republicans to schedule a Friday vote on Brett Kavanaugh today, two days before Dr. Blasey Ford has had a chance to tell her story, is outrageous. It's clear to me that Republicans don't want this to be a fair process. Nicole Killian, CBS News, Capitol Hill.